Holy crap, this is the Bull Black's Kingdom. I don't even think I mentioned the title of the dungeon. Holy crap, seven floors and a lot more jerkish than any dungeon we have yet seen. So I am genuinely concerned. We want to be on our A game here. So this floor is going to present us with a couple new problems that we have not yet encountered. So let's first divide up as usual. Take our elite purple squadron. And w there's going to be two orange bulb orbs, and the thing about orange bulb orbs that makes them different is- Oh god, we really just screwed the pooch on that one, holy crap. You almost blew the operation there, purple. What makes orange bulb orbs different is the fact that they will wake up easier, which makes them slightly harder to defeat, especially when they're facing you. That is risky business. However, that was not the one we wanted, because one of these will have a treasure in him. And that's the one we are looking for. And apparently he's not over here either. So we're just going to leave those guys be. Oh, here he is. He was... Holy balls! He was close to the rest of our Pikmin. Okay. Oh, my lord. And he... Yeah, you can see how fast he wakes up. It's ridiculous. Okay, so that was... The, that's the only treasure on this floor. That's the only thing we have to worry about on this floor. So, blues, you can... I mean, not blues. Purples. You can take that back and we will be done with this floor. Holy crap. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of times in later dungeons where... We're not even going to want to bother killing most enemies on most floors, because it's not even worth it. That's going to happen a lot in the, in the later dungeons. So the Crystal Clover, that's all we have. Yep, that's the noise, because that's all we have to get. Okay, first floor out of the way, but that floor is not that bad. However, we do get introduced to the Orange Bulb Orbs, which are an interesting species. Also, the little ones, can if you don't attack them with purples, um, if you just attack them with regular Pikmin, they can kind of cry out. And if a bigger one is near them, it'll wake them up, and then that can really royally screw you. We'll get into that later. However, floor two is upon us. And is this the floor that I think it is? I believe it is. There's one floor where the reds will just do all the work. Okay, I believe, yeah, this is the floor. Uh, all we want to do here, we got some fiery dweevils, but we don't really care about them. Just want to throw a few of our Pikmin up here. Whistle them, and this is just a C-stick puzzle, basically. Whistle them up there, and they will grab the diamond and bring it down. However, the Dweevils will sometimes, like, kind of go for them and try to, yeah, they'll try to do that, which is mildly annoying, but, however, what's great about bringing Reds in here and no one else is that we don't even have to sort of worry about anyone catching on fire, so they can just do whatever they want, and I don't really care. <laughs> it's just great when you actually know what element you need. Also, where's that treasure at? Can I get back quicker? Because this is also the only treasure on this floor. So, yeah, this would have been the first dungeon that we could have brought 100 Pikmin in with us, because otherwise, in every other dungeon before, we either didn't have 100 Pikmin, like with the first one, or there was um, wild Pikmin, but alas, that one stupid yellow had to screw us up, so, oh well. Uh, is that treasure ever going to get back? Wait, what? Oh no, okay, wait, wait, what? Guys? Oh, the Dweevil got you, damn it. Damn it. Guys, you're really screwing this up. Like, we don't have time limits underground, and that's great and everything. But I don't know, like, I'm in this rushing mode, which is kind of a bad thing. I shouldn't be rushing. But when I'm above ground, it is just stress of time and everything, and it just freaks me out. However, when we're underground, especially right now, we don't have to worry about anything. Assuming that that fiery dweevil does not, like, go ham and just runs over to my base and lights everyone on fire, that would be poor, but oh well. So this, this is a nice looking gem. The Tear Stone, quite appropriately named, actually. Okay, so that is it for this one. So get out of my way, fool. However, our captains are vulnerable to fire. Oh, Louis was over here. I thought we didn't have a captain over here. That was kind of pointless, but whatever. Okay, second floor down. On to sub-level three, and I can skip this animation. We've seen it We've seen it enough times. Okay, sub-level three of the Bull Black's Kingdom. So what do we have on this one? I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is the, the Blowhog floor. Um, pretty much basic stuff here. We'll just take our purples and our reds, and only thing on this floor are female shear grubs and these blowhogs. So the blowhogs will deflowerize your Pikmin and also blow them everywhere if they get the chance. And also apparently hit your captains. Oh, you do get healed when you go into a dungeon. I was wrong, because Olimar has full health once again, and also I don't like where that guy is. He's like, right by that ivory candy pop bud, and I don't want to throw any purples into an ivory candy pop bud, because that would be really dumb. Here's the other one. I might as well take him out right now. Sir! So yeah, if you just get your Pikmin on him quick, and then when he falls, you swarm, it's pretty much the same recipe for destruction as you use against the uh, swooping snitch bugs. So that's that's a thing. So sir, if you would mind 
Whoa, I didn't mean to throw you. If you wouldn't mind... Whoa. Okay. Oh, my controller is glitching out, I know. Oh, whoops. And he blew our Pikmin, so you can see what that does. However, there is... I believe there's always an egg that spawns on this floor. Um, even though, excluding the random dungeon generator, an egg will always spawn on this floor, no matter what configuration you have. So it will give you some nectar. However, where... Where? What are we doing again? Alright, there's a buried treasure on this floor. That's the only treasure here. However, I want to take my blues and get us some more whites. So, might as well do that right now, and then I will find the buried treasure. So yeah, they kind of give you an ivory candy pop out just in case you didn't bring any whites, since poison is not a listed element. They were being kind to the noobs. However, that is their only bout of kindness in this dungeon, because this dungeon is actually a huge jerk. I don't know, this isn't the floor. I was gonna say, for a second I freaked out, because I thought this might have been the first floor where they actually start being a jerk, but it's not. That is not until later, however. Is our buried treasure right here? It is. I'm going to want to supervise this, though, because I don't trust them. Um, I believe I talked about how traps, like, in these little alcoves, there can be traps. Really, there can be traps anywhere, but... Um, the, and especially in these little alcove things. But s traps can be triggered by three things. They can be triggered by captains being in the area, Pikmin being in the area, or when Pikmin start digging something up, which is the most jerk-filled thing ever, and also, apparently they're killing the sheer grubs and bringing them back, because we're getting money. So yeah, sometimes, like, a trap will not be activated until you start digging something up out of the ground, and that is just horrific. It is terrible. And they do do it in this dungeon, but not on this floor, so... Make yourselves aware, this is the first time that they actually will use, like, deadly traps on you. To my knowledge. In the order that we're doing the dungeons anyway, there's no specified dungeon order. It's just kind of the way that I'm doing it most efficiently in my eyes. So that's the only thing we have here. I'm going to make an effort to find that egg though. See if we can get some more flower Pikmin, because those are always nice to have. Uh, the uh, Olimarn... Oh god, we're screwed. Ol Olimarnit? Olimarn... Uh, this is just... I don't even want to try. Like, I swear to god, I am not illiterate. But it is... What time is it right now? It is 7 o'clock in the morning, and I have not slept. <laughs> so, I plead the no sleep on the fact that I can't pronounce that word. I don't really care. Okay, so we need to get one purple to shatter this egg. Bam. Okay, and we want to kind of work our Pikmin up into the lather that we so love. And just kind of throw them all in there. We're not going to... We were definitely not going to get all of our Pikmin on that one, because we had like 40 that weren't flowers. But we did get a surprising amount, and I think we might have gotten all of our purples, which is also very huge. We needed that a lot. Okay, so we're done with that. What was that? Sub-level 3, I believe? So, on to sub-level 4. I believe this is where the game starts being a huge jerk face. Okay. Holy crap. My... F <laughs> all of my fears. I can't hold them. Oh, this is the electric floor. Oh, this floor! This floor makes me scared. A lot. We got an anode. Oh, no, 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 Oh my god, where are you guys? Where are you guys and what are you doing? Wait a second. Wait just a goddamn second. Our reds just attacked a electric generator and successfully killed it without any of them dying. Oh my lord. One, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Two, oh my god! Two, two, two! Two! You killed someone, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Actually, he didn't. Oh, but these guys are about to. Oh my lord. Can we just rally the troops here for a second? Wait, take him out, 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 take him out. Oh my god. Holy balls. I don't even. I don't even. That's probably gonna show up on a highlight reel of mine eventually. Because <laughs> I do like making those from time to time. But oh my god, that was just, no, I don't even. But somehow, we did do that without losing any Pikmin. I don't know how. However, our yellows are going to be the MVPs for the rest of this floor. Because what I was talking about when I said this floor is a jerk is because, god damn it, I cannot sort it. Is because that Wallywog will randomly fall out of the sky at some random point and will kick your ass. However, I don't know how we survived that. I thought we were dead numerous times. But anyway, now that we have our yellows and no one else, we don't even have to really care about anything else on this floor. But um, what is the treasure on this floor? I actually don't remember. I know the, the Wallywog drops a treasure, but I think there's... Oh yeah, there's one more. I think, is it the Colossal Fossil? Maybe. 
If it's a colossal fossil, then I don't even need to bother killing these guys. I could just find it and bring it back. Um, sh well, let me look at the map. What does this floor even look like? Perhaps the colossal fossil is in that weird little alcove thing. And I've used the word alcove way too many times. Um, colossal fossil, are you back here? No, you're not. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just take this back in this in while we have time, so it doesn't really screw up our treasure radar. Also, no, we don't need to bring the Wallywog body back. Even though, remember, remember earlier in the episode when I was like, I hate Wallywogs, and we're gonna see more of why that is later. That was why. Also, this is a cool little like Japanese coin. Unknown merit. I don't actually know if it's Japanese. That might have been a racial assumption. However, we're not gonna worry about that. Also, this is an ivory candy pop up that I failed to talk about right there. Holy crap! Okay, so let's see where we can that, where we can that, where we can find that other treasure. Holy crap! With the words, no, oh, sir, I would like to yes, knock you out of the sky and oh, you dropped a very nice potion. Oh, we're gonna talk about this now? Didn't we already talk about this before? Ship, what are you doing? Yeah, the per I I know it can drain. I can, blah, it contains a dose of ultra bitter essence. I am thoroughly aware. I don't think I ever talked about what it actually does. It just kind of like, uh, oh wait, we need to take this guy out, because we're going to need to bring other Pikmin through here. However, he's alone, so I'm not sure what he's going to do to us. And also, holy crap, we can't hit him. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the Ultra Bitter Essence itself will turn an enemy into stone. I don't know if I talked about that. So wait, where is our other treasure here? I'm really concerned. Let's just take this out, just for the sake of taking it out, because I don't want to bother dealing with it. Also, yes, oh my god, so many potions. I didn't get any potions on my practice run. This is just splendid. So wait, where? Okay, are you gonna drop a potion now? No, you're not. Okay, that's what I get for being an ass about it. <laughs> okay, so wait, can we just dismiss Pikmin? Holy crap! Where is this treasure? I don't, I don't understand. Like, we've been everywhere. Oh wait, it's over here. Wait, what? So it was over here. Oh, it's this guy. Wait, what? I think I might have. Oh no, I know what happened on my practice run. Like, what happened on my practice run was I was just kind of throwing my purples at like anode beetles. And I just kind of accidentally hit this guy before he even spawned. So I completely forgot about him. Yeah, so that gold beetle will give you your other... The gold flint beetle will give you your last treasure on this floor. For some reason, I thought it was the colossal fossil. That comes later. So don't worry about that for now. Okay, so let me get my blues together and make us some more purples. Because we're going to need more purples. Damn it. <laughs> Interrupting treasure. We're going to need more purples for later in this dungeon. So that's why I only brought 15 with me. The Crystal King. I can't say I can argue with that. It does look like the Crystal King. Okay, so that is all the treasure on this floor. However, can I throw my blues into this flower now, please? Okay, I'll have Olimar and Louie pick those in a second, but I'm gonna throw the... Red no, purple? Oh, I thought he went with me. Whoops. False alarm. Okay, so wait. Oh, whoa, almost ran into that. I want to glitch those, so don't want to bother hitting those right now. Okay, and then I want to change you all into purples, and we should be good to go. So now, where's Louie at? Because I want to get these potions right now. Oh, actually, we'll pick these Pikmin first. We will be so efficient with our unlimited time. <laughs> it is very nice how the, the time limit doesn't go on in the dungeons. However, if it did, this game would be, like, impossible, so makes enough sense, at least. Okay, so let's see if we can do this, this glitch. Whoops, I didn't want to dismiss anyone. And then we want to push. Can we get a good camera angle on this? If you can get the camera angle to the side, it makes it a lot easier, actually. You are drinking that? Boom. Okay. Yeah, we have so many of those potions. That is nice, though. We do need those. We're going to use one for the boss of this dungeon. Just to make him easier, because the boss is a jerk. Not He's not necessarily too, too hard, but um, I'm trying to lose, like, any Pikmin that I can help losing. So, he's kind of a jerk in that sense. Also, there we go. Boom. Okay, good. I really wanted to get the glitch on that one, because we didn't have that many of those. In fact, maybe... I don't know if I'm going to use my, one of those potions on the boss. Because even though it does turn the enemies into stone, um, it also heightens their defense. So, like, you can't just, like, turn someone into stone and then, like, wail away on them like you normally would. So that's kind of a downside to the Ultra Bitter Essence. However, that was the fourth floor, and we have not lost Pikmin yet. And now that I've completely jinxed that, we are utterly screwed. Okay, sub-level 5. And I'm gonna already tell you that this is the second time we're doing sub-level 5. I will probably have spliced in why this is the second time we're doing sub level 5. Holy crap. There's our berry treasure, but as soon as we start digging that up, I bet you five bucks that there is going to be a bomb rock. Yep. What the hell? Oh my god. No. Why? Well, that's a reset. That's a reset. 
Reds, you separated way too far for my liking. Like, way too far into the darkness. Because I don't know how much of my last failed run of this floor you're going to see. However, this floor is the first floor where they will try to screw you with bomb rock traps. And what we have learned from my failed run is never throw purple Pikmin at a bomb rock trap because they will set it off instantly. Also, apparently, this guy wants to be a huge jerk today. But luckily, purple Pikmin make these guys so easy. If purple Pikmin weren't in this game, I would lose so many Pikmin. It's ridiculous. Okay, I don't even want to really do this right now. I'm not happy with the way we're clearing this room out. Because I don't, I don't want to fight these guys in tiny rooms where bomb rocks could potentially kill our faces. So, to combat the situation that I'm not happy with, I'm going to dismiss my purples. Take like one of you. One trusty purple. Trusty purple? Oh, God. One of you go over there. Okay. Thank God a bar mark didn't fall on him. Okay, so purple, you're going to be my trusty steed, kind of, except for the fact that our relationship is nothing like a horse, but whatever. Okay, so you're going to follow me over here. Okay, now this is an interesting one, because as soon as we start digging this up, bomb rock. Boom! Called that. That is a jerk trap. So not very nice of you, Nintendo. I'm not happy with you right now. Holy crap. Okay. Yep, bomb rock. Called that. Run, purple run. So yeah, basically just take one Pikmin with you and set off every trap that ever existed ever, and you will be pretty much good. Louie, get out of my way. <laughs> okay, um, bomb rock traps? Any more? Does anyone else feel like trying to screw me? Also, you guys are like blocking an entire thing. Is there anything else over here? Nope. Okay. Good enough for me. Hopefully carrying him doesn't like uh, affect the you have to have Pikmin with you to set off traps thing. I think this is the only treasure on this floor though. Unless another one of these orange bulbs. Wait, let me look at the map. Now we've been everywhere. That must be the only one unless something's buried. So we will get our reds on that because they are the least valuable. It is a, it's just bad to be a red Pikmin in this game because reds are the least valuable. Also, there's a purple with us. Purple, you know what? Fine, you can come. Oh my God! And yeah, sometimes they'll do that to you just, just to be even more jerks, just to scare you, even though they're not gonna kill you yet. There could have been like we could have just killed you, but we didn't. So f you, and then they give you like a metaphorical middle finger. And by they, I mean Nintendo. So yeah, that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that having your Pikmin carrying something will never set off a trap exclusively, so you don't have to worry about that. But holy crap, I wouldn't put it past him. Also, we are just pushing this guy's body. Oh my god, this floor. This floor makes me so nervous. <laughs> and I'm not just being paranoid. We have seen why, assuming I put that in the video. Oh my god. I was... Just throw in my purple Pikmin, anxious sprout worth 50 Pikmin. Uh, pick, 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 pock, pick those, whatever the money is. Holy crap. So yeah, just throw in my purple Pikmin and all of a sudden they detonate a bomb and kill everyone. Could have been worse. I have had worse happen to me playing Pikmin, but still. I'm sure we will see worse as we go through the game. Is there any? No, I don't think there's any candy pop buds. I'll go around and check, but first I want to get this nectar. Because a lot of our purples are not flowers and it's kind of annoying me. Um, did we get everyone? I I think we- ah, oh no, we have like one leaf. Is there one leaf in there? There's two. Two leaves. Alright, so wait, I need to- Just- everyone chill. I know- yeah, you guys are gonna carry everything. That's rather annoying, but I'm gonna see- God, stop following me. I don't want you all to die. I'm gonna see- I don't think there was any candy pop buds, and I shouldn't be chancing it for that. Because I'll probably just set off a bomb rock and kill everyone. So let's just- Not even care if there's candy pop buds, because we can grind for purples and whites later. Whatever, I'm pretty sure that floor didn't have any, though. Okay, done with floor five. <sighs> okay, one more floor to go and then boss. One more floor to go and then boss. But boss doesn't make me feel any better either. Okay, so what is this floor? I think this is a killing orange ones floor. And by orange ones, I mean orange bulb orbs. But look at this starting room. I, I'm digging it right now. This is a good starting location. Also, wait, fire? Crap, what do we want to do? Let's scout ahead with Olimar and see what we want. So we got one of those guys. We have a red candy pop bud, which is basically useless, unless you really need reds. You know what, we're just gonna kill you with the captain, because I don't even think I explicitly pointed out the fact that our captains can hit things. But yeah, this this guy's, this jerk's gonna try to bite us. Also, when he does that shaking thing, if you're in too close, you will take damage from that as well. But there will also be an upgrade that will make our captains more effective at attacking these guys later. So, don't worry if this feels like it sucks, because it does. 
Also, sir, I would really just enjoy killing you. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> just playing Ring Around the Rosie, apparently. Okay, so, um, we're gonna kill you. You can also kill Dweevils with your captains, but it takes forever. So, I'm not gonna bother. I believe there are two orange bulb orbs on this floor, and one of them has a treasure. There's the other one. Hopefully, the one over there has a treasure. And I believe there's a treasure buried. I believe this is where the Colossal Fossil... Yeah, there's the Colossal Fossil. Okay, maybe we'll go over here first. Because we're gonna have to go over here anyway. So, purples... I summon you, even though it would be more wise to bring reds, arguably. Purples make it so easy to take out those guys that it's not even funny. Okay, and I want to separate this leaf. Leaf, you're going to slow us down, so we're not going to take you. Okay, so I want to snipe this one. Uh, you did not do a very good job sniping him. Just FYI, we have screwed up numerous times on that guy. What do you, you guys are slacking. Okay, let's get this guy real quick. He stood no chances, which I am quite content with. And then we have the Colossal Fossil, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's a bomb rock trap on that. Like, almost positive there's a bomb rock trap on that. Once you start digging it up. So, I'm not going to chance that. And then Barrage! Purple Barrage! It must be terrifying to have a Barrage or Purple Pikmin hit you if you are a Dwarf Bulborb. That would just suck. And... Oh, that was bad plan! That was such bad plan! You're on fire. But luckily, I saved you. Yeah, that was horrible plan. Okay, so can we kill this fiery Dweevil? Because I don't want to deal with him. Boom. Purple Pikmin just make everything so easy to take out. However, we the reason I reset whenever we lose any purples, especially when we lose any purples, is because there's a time later in the game where we're going to need a crap load of purples. And so if we lose any, in the since they're so hard to get, unless you just like keep going through the same dungeon over and over again, then I just have to reset because I don't feel like doing it all over again. So yeah, that's why I take Purple's Pikmin's lives very seriously, if you were wondering. Oh, whoa! The treasure kicking out almost kicked the purple Pikmin into the fire geyser, which would have been unfortunate. However, since fire is not insta-kill, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Also, I think we're good here. I think we can have our reds clean up the rest. Also, wait. We can probably just grab this with our purples if we're nimble about it. But of course our purples are not nimble at all, and this is a horrible fiery death plan, but that's fine. It was worth trying, sort of, kind of, not really. Um, okay, can we just, yep, we can just avoid that fire geyser and take no more chances with it as we get our reds to do all the work. So can you guys, yes, come with me. Please come over here, okay, thank you. I think this requires 20 Pikmin to carry, and then we'll go worry about the bomb rock trap over on the, you guys are not even sorta of close to getting that. Okay, here, just go, do that. Okay, fine. We'll just have to wait for them, because I need more reds to dig up the Colossal Fossil anyway. So hold on a second, can we get all of you out of the way of the ship thing? Because we're gonna need to be coming through here, and you guys are all up in the way. Holy crap. We can put you over here, probably. This looks like a safe region. I've had times where, like, the random dungeon spawner thing, like, puts you, like, so close to a wall that when you dismiss your Pikmin, either an enemy will attack you or a bomb rock will fall on them, and then it's just the worst. That's just the case of you got screwed. Eternal Emerald Eye. It does look like an Eternal Emerald Eye. Most of these names are pretty appropriate. Okay, so we have 33 reds. So now, I'm going to be wary here, because I know that this is a massive trap. Here, wait. Throw that over there. Um, you guys can take out the fire geyser, sure. Whatever makes you happy. Bomb rock trap? Where are you at? I know you're here, bomb rock trap. I am not even sort of fooled. There you are! Crap, red, 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 get out of there. Holy crap. Once again, jerk move, because I'm pretty sure the trigger on that one, specifically, is when you get behind it and your Pikmin will automatically get behind it to pick it up or dig it out, and then they get stuck back there and they die, and it's just sad times. Like, why would you do that? You just, you probably made a child cry. At least one child cried when that happened. And I would also cry if that had happened and I had not known it. <laughs> Holy crap. This game is cruelly unforgiving. <laughs> if you have not already noticed. But this is, this isn't even like the start of the cruelness to come. There shall be much more. <laughs> Holy crap. But when you do this game well, and like you don't lose any Pikmin, it is one of the most fulfilling things. So completely worth it in the end. Also, why are you guys lining up? It's kind of creepy looking. Over the Colossal Fossil. I don't know, for some reason I always remember the name of that. Just every time I play this game. It's very distinct. Also, where's the exit? I don't feel like finding it. We actually didn't explore a fair- oh wait, no, 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 we're not gonna leave yet. This place has candy pop buds, I'm pretty sure. I know there's a, at least one violet candy pop button here, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Where was that? I know I saw it somewhere. You're not alive, right? No, you're dead. You are very dead. I don't know how your body got over here, but we're not going to ask questions. 
Are you? No, you're the red one. Where's the violet one? I don't care about making more red Pikmin. Like I said earlier in the episode, they're practically disposable. But where? I could have sworn there was a violet one. Also, hopefully a bomb rock doesn't, like, kill us all. That would also be kind of bad. Um, that was where the colossal fossil was. Did I leave the last floor without getting the violet candy pop out? I might have. That might have been really dumb of me. I think I did. Um, oh well, I guess. How many purple Pikmin do we have? Yeah, we might have screwed up. I think we missed a Violet Candy Pop Bud. That's not the end of the world, but at the same time, I feel kind of dumb. Wait, maybe? No, 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 that's the fire. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I just missed it. Okay, I must have missed one. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> that's what I have to say to that. I, I don't really care too much, but that kind of sucks. And... Probably su at least one of you was like, damn it, you missed the violet candy pop bud and left without it, but oh well. I'm not too fussed about it. There will be time for purple grinding later. Because as we go throughout the game, we're not even going to get enough Pikmin, I'm pretty sure. Even if we didn't lose any purple Pikmin, we wouldn't have enough for to do what we need to do. So it's fine. We will have to grind for them eventually. So if we have to grind for five more than we need, so be it. That will be off camera, so you guys don't even have to worry about that. That's mostly what I have to worry about. So let's destroy these fire guys first off. This is the boss floor, I didn't even talk about that. And we will get to be seeing a boss that I need some well... I need some well-cooked revenge on. For those of you who have seen my Pikmin 1 LP, you know exactly why I need this revenge. If this goes flawlessly first time, that would be awesome. So we want to take one red with us, and we want to destroy face. Because if you recognize those beady eye stalks, you know exactly what's about to go down. Also, I just screwed up. I'm not supposed to grab him yet. We're going to use a potion. Grab a red Pikmin. Throw him out as sacrifice. 